Welcome to our Sports Briefing Show. Today, we have some thrilling updates for you. First off, the Boston Celtics are on the brink of a historic sweep in the NBA Finals against the Dallas Mavericks. With an unbeaten road game record in these playoffs, the Celtics look unstoppable. However, the Mavericks have Chris Tapp's Porzingis back, albeit in limited action. No team has ever come back from an 0-3 deficit in NBA playoff history, so tonight's game is a must-watch. Next up, Spanish golfer David Puig has made a remarkable comeback at the US Open, securing his spot in the Paris Olympics. After a rough first round, Puig turned things around with an impressive performance, including four birdies on the front nine. His effort paid off, and now he's set to represent Spain on the Olympic stage. Finally, NASCAR drivers faced unexpected challenges during the inaugural Cup Series practice at Iowa Speedway. Five separate tire issues raised concerns about the upcoming race's quality. Notable drivers like Christopher Bell and Austin Sindrick had to switch to backup cars, adding an element of uncertainty to Sunday's race. Please stay tuned for detailed coverage. Guardian. In a thrilling Game 4 of the NBA Finals, the Boston Celtics faced off against the Dallas Mavericks, with the Celtics holding a commanding 3-0 series lead. The narrative was set around the intriguing dynamics between key players, with Luka Doncic likened to Han Solo and Kyrie Irving to Deadpool, reflecting their dynamic but unpredictable partnership. Despite a valiant effort from Irving, who scored a game-high 35 points, the Mavericks fell short with a 106-99 loss. This game highlighted the Celtics' resilience and strategic prowess, particularly with Chris Tapp's Porzingis being used sparingly by coach Joe Mazzulla. The Celtics fans, haunted by past sports superstitions and historical comebacks, were cautiously optimistic about closing out the series without giving the Mavericks any room for an improbable comeback. Associated Press David Puig's journey to secure a spot in the Paris Olympics was nothing short of dramatic at the US Open. After a dismal first round of 76, Puig rallied with a spectacular second round 68, ensuring he made the cut at Pinehurst No. 2. Puig's determination was evident as he balanced his game with crucial birdies, ultimately finishing at 4 over for the championship. His performance was not just about personal achievement but also securing his place in the Spanish Olympic team, edging out Jorge Campillo in the world rankings. The tournament also saw mixed fortunes for other top players, with Scotty Scheffler just making the cut, while notable names like Victor Hovland and Tiger Woods missed out. Puig's strategic play on the Asian tour and his wins in Singapore and Malaysia were pivotal in his ascent, culminating in his Olympic qualification. Associated Press the inaugural Cup Series practice at Iowa Speedway turned into a tire-testing ordeal for NASCAR drivers, raising concerns about the upcoming race's quality. Multiple drivers, including Christopher Bell and Austin Sindrick, experienced tire blowouts, leading to significant damage and the need for backup cars. The issues emerged around the 20-lap mark, baffling drivers and teams alike, especially since a tire test at the same track a month earlier had shown no such problems. The temperature difference was speculated but not confirmed as a factor. Despite the challenges, some drivers like Chase Elliott did not encounter any issues, adding to the mystery. Noah Gragson posted the fastest lap during practice, but the tire troubles left teams wary about what to expect in the race, highlighting the unpredictable nature of the sport. <music> Yahoo US, Alex Verdugo made a dramatic return to Fenway Park, the home of his former team, the Boston Red Sox, on Friday. Now playing for the New York Yankees after a rare trade between the two fierce rivals, Verdugo wasted no time making an impact. He homered on the first pitch he faced from his former teammate Brian Bello, sending the ball 406 feet to the center field stands. As he rounded the bases, Verdugo made sure everyone knew about it, shouting, Hell yeah, let me hear it, according to lip reader John Boy. This display was a stark contrast to his earlier conciliatory remarks about his return to Fenway where he expressed excitement and curiosity about the fans' reception. Despite the tension, Verdugo praised the iconic ballpark and looked forward to the competitive atmosphere. Yahoo US, the tension between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin reached a boiling point during their final face-off before their highly anticipated WBA lightweight title fight. The two boxers exchanged heated words, filled with expletives, matching the intensity they had shown throughout the week. The showdown, promoted by TGB and PBC, is set to take place at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas and will be available on Prime Video pay-per-view. The fierce exchange during the face-off added even more anticipation to what promises to be a thrilling bout between two of the best fighters in the sport. Associated Press, Thomas Detroit, a 31-year-old Belgian golfer, found himself surprisingly near the top of the leaderboard at the US Open after shooting a 3-under-67 on Friday. 
This performance marked his ninth consecutive round at par or better in major championships, a significant turnaround after missing the cut in three of his first six majors. Detroit's strategy involved playing target golf and committing to full shots to maximize spin and height. Starting on the 10th hole, he made three consecutive birdies and continued his strong play despite two late bogeys. Detroit's recent form, including a tie for 13th at the British Open and a fourth place finish at the PGA Championship, has bolstered his confidence. Meanwhile, other notable performances included Matthew Pavon, who overcame a recent slump to tie for fifth place, and Gunnar Broin, a Kansas collegiate golfer who made the cut after surviving two rounds of qualifying. The <music> Yahoo US reports that Yankees ace Garrett Cole dazzled in what could be his final rehab start with the Scranton Wilkes Bar Railriders. Facing the Rochester Red Wings, Cole pitched 4.1 innings, allowing only two hits and one unearned run while striking out 10 batters. This stellar performance included 70 pitches, 46 of which were strikes. The lone run against Cole was due to a fielding error by prospect Ben Rice, who mishandled a throw at first base, allowing the runner to advance. Despite this minor setback, Cole's dominance on the mound suggests he's ready to rejoin the Yankees soon, although manager Aaron Boone has not confirmed an exact timeline. The Guardian reports that Tottenham midfielder Rodrigo Bentenker has issued a public apology to his teammate Sun Heung-min after making an insensitive comment about South Koreans on a Uruguayan TV show. Bentenker, while joking about getting a Spurs player's shirt, remarked that South Koreans all look the same, which quickly sparked backlash online. In response, Bentenker took to Instagram to apologize, emphasizing his respect and affection for Sun. The incident occurred just as Sun was representing South Korea in a World Cup qualifier against China, where he played the full 90 minutes in a 1-0 victory. Sun has not yet publicly responded to Bentenker's apology. The Toronto Star reports that Atlanta Braves leadoff hitter Michael Harris too exited the game against the Tampa Bay Rays with a tight hamstring after showing discomfort while advancing to third base. Harris had singled off Zach Little and moved to third on an Aussie Albies double but was visibly in pain. Braves manager Brian Snitker and assistant trainer Jeff Stevenson promptly removed him from the game, with J.P. Martinez taking over. Martinez later scored on Marcelo Zuna's three-run homer, contributing to a five-run inning for the Braves. The severity of Harris's injury remains unclear, adding to the Braves' injury woes following Ronald Acuna Jr.'s season-ending knee injury earlier this year. <music> Associated Press, Nelly Korda after a stellar run of winning six out of seven events, missed her second consecutive cut at the Meyer LPGA Classic in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Despite an impressive rally on Friday with a score of 67, Korda fell just one stroke short of advancing to the weekend play, following a challenging 4 over 76 in windy conditions on Thursday. The tournament saw Ally Ewing and Grace Kim share the lead at 11 under 133. Korda's performance was marred by a tough start, including a double bogey and bogeys on Thursday but she showcased resilience by making long putts and chipping in on Friday. Looking ahead, Korda remains optimistic about her game as she prepares for the KPMG Women's PGA Championship in Seattle. Telegraph, Jamal Musiala, Germany's new talisman, dazzled fans with his electrifying performance at the European Championship, leaving Scotland's defenders in the dust. At just 21, Musiala's pace and skill turned every one-on-one -on -one into a mismatch, earning him a standing ovation from German supporters. Musiala, who once played for England at youth levels, switched allegiance partly due to Brexit and his mother's preference for Germany. His masterclass performance, alongside Florian Wirtz, highlighted Germany's resurgence under Julian Nagelsmann. Musiala's footwork and explosive strike were instrumental in Germany's dominant win, setting the stage for what could be his breakout tournament on the global stage. Yahoo US, Mavericks head coach Jason Kidd passionately defended Luka Doncic amidst criticism of his defensive effort and temperament following the Mavericks' Game 3 loss to the Celtics in the NBA Finals. Kidd highlighted Doncic's incredible performance despite the immense pressure and injuries, including a thoracic contusion. Kidd emphasized that Doncic, at 25, has already achieved remarkable success, being named to five All-NBA first teams. He argued that the scrutiny Doncic faces is part of the journey for great players, drawing parallels to legends like LeBron James and Michael Jordan. Kidd urged for appreciation of Doncic's talent and resilience, calling for a fairer perspective as Doncic continues to grow and improve. <music> Associated Press reports that Tiger Woods faced a challenging return to the US Open at Pinehurst No. 2, ultimately missing the cut with a 7-over score. 
Woods, a three-time U.S. Open champion, struggled with the course's tricky greens and sandy native areas, shooting a 3 over 73 on Friday after an opening round of 74. This marks his 13th consecutive round without breaking par in a major. Woods, who hadn't played a U.S. Open since 2020 due to various injuries, including serious leg injuries from a 2021 car crash, began his return with a promising birdie but faltered with multiple bogeys. Despite his efforts, including a significant missed birdie putt on the 15th, Woods couldn't gain the momentum needed to stay in contention. Reflecting on his performance, Woods expressed frustration but remained noncommittal about whether this would be his last U.S. Open. In another report by the Associated Press, Major League Baseball, MLB, is set to discipline umpire Pat Hoberg following an investigation into a potential violation of sports gambling policies. The specifics of the violation and the extent of the punishment were not disclosed. MLB's investigation, which began during spring training, did not find any evidence that games officiated by Hoberg were compromised or manipulated. Hoberg has chosen to appeal the penalty, and MLB has stated that no further comments will be made until the appeal process is concluded. This situation underscores MLB's ongoing efforts to maintain the integrity of the sport amid increasing scrutiny over gambling-related issues. Yahoo US covered ASU Almabayev's media day ahead of his fight at UFC on ESPN 58 in Las Vegas. Almabayev, with a record of 19-2 in MMA and 2-0 in UFC, is set to fight Jose Johnson in a flyweight bout. During the media session, Almabayev expressed confidence and compared himself to MMA legend Georges St. Pierre. He acknowledged Johnson's skills in striking and wrestling but emphasized his own strategic approach honed over a long career in the sport. Almabayev, appearing on the main card, hopes a victory will position him to fight someone from the top 10 in future events. His positive outlook and strategic mindset reflect his readiness for the upcoming challenge. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. Got a book so big and bright Open it and take a flight Learn about the stars and see Everything is here for me Flip the pages one by one Knowledge under the sun
history, science full of mystery.